Hey, biology friends, it's Mr. Poller. In this video, we're going to be performing an experiment to determine the density of water and also learning how to use a tool called a micropipetter. Let's look at the equipment that we'll be using first. So I have an electronic balance. We'll also use a Erlenmeyer flask with a small test tube. Uh, for this experiment, narrower test tubes are better than wider ones. You'll notice that I've added a piece of tape we will be creating a graduated test tube. So other things that we're using for the experiment, I have a beaker with water. I've added a little bit of food coloring to it just to make things easier to see. I'll be using a micro pipetter, and then I have pipette tips. First, let's determine the mass of the test tube and Erlenmeyer flask, 109.5 grams. The reason to measure the mass of the Erlenmeyer flask and test tube empty is so that we can later compare that mass to the new mass that happens when we're adding liquid into the test tube. Micropipetter, dialing into 200. For some labs, you would need to change tips after each transfer. For this experiment, I'm going to use the same tip throughout. I'm not really worried about contamination with this experiment. So I'm just going to hold the micropipetter in my hand like this. And um, the end right here is going to go into a tip. So I can just kind of tap this down like that. Um, so I have it kind of firmly in place, the tip. It's not going to fall out. And I have my beaker of water that I've added green food coloring to just to make things a bit easier to visualize. I'm going to be transferring water into the test tube. Every time that I transfer, I am transferring a volume of 200 microliters. You can see that this has been set to 200 microliters. That is equivalent to 0.2 milliliters. Now to use the micro pipetter, let's take a look a little bit more closely at this here. You can see that there is a plunger. So if I push this down, there's two stop points. There's the first stop point, and I feel some resistance when I hit that point. If I push harder, I can move it even further in. So first stop point, second stop point. When I'm using the micropipetter for transfers, I'll just hold it with my finger around the hook. My thumb goes on the plunger. I'm going to depress to the first stop point, and then I'll place the micropipetter into my liquid sample. I want to make sure it's completely under the surface. I don't want to pull any bubbles into my tip. So first stop into the beaker. I'm then going to allow the plunger to come up by releasing my thumb. And you can see now that I have transferred liquid into the tip of the micropipetter. I think that's a good angle where you see it right there. When we transfer liquid into the test tube, I'm going to push to the first stop point to push the liquid out of the tip but then I'm actually going to push beyond that to the second stop point. If there's any liquid that sticks inside the tip, pushing to the second stop point will force that liquid out of the tip. So I'm going to go into the tube as far as I can. First stop point, little bubble hanging on or a little bit of liquid hanging to the tip. Second stop point, that liquid has been pushed out. New mass of this is reading 109.9 grams. With each addition of liquid, I'm going to be marking on my test tube the bottom of the meniscus. Um, so I'm going to be marking the bottom of the curve of the liquid. And I can actually see that there's kind of two parts of the curve that I can visualize. So I want to mark the bottom one with a line on my tape. So you can see maybe if I hold this, you can see I've marked where that liquid level is. First stop point, liquid, first stop, second stop, new mass, 110.2, and we're going to mark the liquid level. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. Now that you've collected all this data, you might be wondering what you're going to be doing with it. Well, if you check out this video here, you're going to find out.